Hi, in this video I will cover different aspects you will need to know when designing a study proposal at the Universidad Pontificia Comillas. These will include the schools or facultades you may attend, as well as a few restrictions. I will also point out information we can learn by looking at the Planes Estudios, such as are there prerequisites for class, what type of classes should I take and at what level, or why isn't this class offered this semester. First, I'd like to address particularities of the Universidad Pontificia Comillas. Our students will be able to enroll in classes at the Facultad de Ciencias Económicas y Empresariales, or the Business School, and at the Facultad de Ciencias Humanas y Sociales, the Humanities School. Though Comillas has other schools, such as Law and Engineering, students will only be admitted to these on a case-by-case -case basis. Once admitted to the program, students will need to be affiliated to one of these schools for registration purposes. This means that at least three classes must be taken in that particular school or facultad, whether it be business or humanity. Based on the study proposal you present, I will place you in one or the other. If after registration and final course selection, you find that you should be associated to a different school, we will arrange a change once in Madrid. Just a note on this school affiliation. It's purely bureaucratic in nature and should not affect your academic work or credits. The Business and Economics School is located in the Madrid campus in the institution called ICADE. Students looking for classes here should focus on the following degree programs. E2, the Business Administration degree, or E6, Business Administration and International Relations. The primary reason to steer towards these is because most of the classes offered here will be in Spanish. Other degree programs such as analytics variations, the bilingual degrees, or the E4 International will have many more classes in English, and you are not permitted to take classes in English. The degree program called E3, Business and Law, is also one we do not recommend, simply because of the difficulty of law classes. Not only are they based on Roman law and not Anglo-Saxon law, but also the language is extremely technical and a lot of memorization is required. The Humanities and Social Science School is located on the Canto Blanco campus, a short commuter train ride to the outskirts of Madrid. Here students may enroll in most of the degree programs offered, such as theology, philosophy, and psychology, but be aware that many classes in the international relations, translation, and communication degrees are only offered in English. So it's important for you to choose classes where the language of instruction is in Spanish. On the tutorial on navigating the university website, we will show you where to look for this information. In addition to the classes found in the official degree programs, Comillas offers its international community additional classes that are more Spain-specific in nature. While most of these classes are in English as well, those that focus on the humanities will be offered in Spanish. For example, classes on Spanish film or in Spanish literature. These international student classes form part of the diploma programs of each school. In the business school, these classes are found in the Diploma in Business in Spain, and in the Humanities School, in the Diploma in International Relations from a Spanish Perspective. You might also consider taking a Spanish language class to hone your Spanish skills. These are also offered to the international students. Overall, our students are permitted to take one or two of these classes for internationals, depending on the school you belong to at GU. You need to also know that first-year classes are not open to visiting foreign students. However, students can register for year-long classes attending only one semester and receiving half of the credits assigned. And speaking of credits, most classes receive between five or six European credits, also known as ECTS credits. Students must take between 25 and 30 ECTS credits, which usually means five classes. However, be aware that a few classes only receive three credits, and that if you take these, your course load may have to go up to six or seven classes a semester. Keeping all this university-specific information in mind, now let's try to answer some of the questions directly related to the study plans. I'll begin by addressing prerequisites. Since Spanish students follow a specific sequence curriculum, their professors are aware of their previous knowledge. Thus, course descriptions do not specify prerequisites because these are implied. So when you're drafting your study proposal, you should first look at the Planes Estudios to see in what order classes are taught 
and therefore what the professor expectations will be. If you want to take classes that are considered obligatorias, or requirements in the Spanish system, you should focus on lower level classes, especially in areas that are new to you. The optativas or elective classes, however, usually demand less background knowledge because many of these classes are shared among different related degree programs, such as among finance and marketing students. Also, these tend to be offered during the third and fourth years, coinciding with the student mobility exchanges. So you will find many European foreigners in class. This mix of students will imply that those attending will not share the same academic formation. Regardless of the type of classes you choose, you should always double check the syllabus to make sure the option is feasible. The structured study plan will also determine when a class is offered. The sequence curriculum will specify the year in the degree program and most importantly for you, the semester the class is offered. Do not expect to find the same class in both semesters. So when making a study proposal, you should again focus first on the plan de estudios. It is likely that an introductory class will be offered only in the fall semester, followed by the next level in the spring. You can definitely select a class that's an obvious continuation of a previous one, but it will be important to look at the syllabus to see if you're prepared to handle the material. To recap the information, Focus on the sequence curriculum or the plan de estudios before selecting classes for your study proposal. Also avoid first year classes and make sure you accumulate enough credits and that the language of instruction is in Spanish. And remember that once in Spain and during the add drop period, the on-site staff will help you hone your class choices. There are always exceptions to these recommendations. So it's to your advantage to have your dean approve eight to 10 classes to give you more flexibility once you're on site. So with what you've learned about the Spanish education system, I now urge you to see the next tutorial video on navigating the host university website and draft a realistic study proposal for your dean. I hope this was helpful and remember that we're always available to answer your questions.